I have an extremely urgent message I received from the Lord a few days ago. I've been waiting to put together more material and more confirmations, but I realize now that the time is so short, and so I will go ahead and read the message. As always, I remind you, the authority is the Word of God. I encourage you to go in prayer, to seek the Lord in His Word, and to find confirmations with the Holy Spirit. I will provide a very short explanation immediately after the message. I'm going to ask you to again go in prayer and add additional confirmation if you're led to do so. I received the message on February 9, 2023 at 2.22 p.m. and then at 2.33 p.m. and it ended at 2.41 p.m. The message says, Write, son, that I love you. A storm comes, dust and debris. There is no more time. Your question, son, a sea of glass, and I see a vision of a glass sky, now shatters, fire and brimstone, as heaven opens at the the appointed time. Run, shout out loud, for the time comes. Revenge, in quotes, avenge, in parentheses. Guns and soldiers, not according to my will. Men are disobedient. They rest on their own vain glories. The oppressor comes, a wind from the north. General Putin, his army is ready. With him, a red horse. Then I see a vision of bees flying. Then I see a vision of a hot summer wheat harvest. And I see harvesters with long johns and with straw hats. The time has come. Rest and retire now, son. I love you. Your Lord, Yeshua. Amen. Later on that same day, as I was watching the Watchman River channel, I was led to read from Isaiah 66. Now, Tom from the channel wasn't referring to this passage, but this is the passage I'm going to read, and you'll understand how he relates to the message. Isaiah 60, 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. The message was received between 2.22, and it started at 2.33 and ended at 2.41. 2.22 in Strong's means the flame of God. 2.33 is then. And 241 means of another race, which we understand what race that is from the message. The bees that I saw relate to the message on Samson. We know once the lion is slain, bees come out of the carcass. And we know exactly what happens when the carcass is laying down. The eagles will be gathered. And finally, the end of the harvest has reference to the very first movie, that the Lord showed me his confirmation to the first sign that he gave me. And the movie was called The End of the Harvest. Now it so happens that I had my first live in-person class, as I mentioned in my videos, just about two days ago. And when I came home, the Lord presented to me after over a year for the first time on my YouTube feed, The End of the Harvest. I watched the movie again, which brought me to tears because the teacher or student that presents the information in the movie is teaching a class exactly with the same verses that I taught in my very first live class the other day. This movie confirms the Lord is at the door. As you will understand from this message, there's many confirmations of many things that I'm sure you are aware of. I'm not here to tell you that I do know that is the day or the hour. 
but I do know and understand that this message is from the Lord and he's warning and telling us that we have no more time. Now, I mentioned earlier in my community post to go ahead and forgive everybody. This is a time where the enemy is making sure that he's sending opportunities into your life to be unforgiven, to be unloving, to be unkind, and most importantly, to be worried with the cares of the world. This is this plan. This will be my 78th video, which means that up until today, I had 77 videos posted. You know what that number means. I'm here to continue to work and serve the Lord until the last day, and I continue to do though so as I get more and more confirmations. But in any event, I'm going to send my absolute love thankfulness and gratitude to all of you who have been supportive, loving and kind. Keep everyone in prayer. Continue to love and forgive. May the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior, bless you and protect you.